Hi guys, just going to do a quick project suggested by Francisco. I'll put a link to his channel in the video description. He saw my video where I used this personal alarm to make a bicycle alarm, or at least that's what I've been asked to make, something that would set off an alarm if somebody sat on a bicycle. Uh, this is a very simple alarm, bought it in Poundland. Uh, it doubles as a torch, but the idea is if somebody tries to attack you or steal your handbag or something, you have this attached to your belt or somewhere else so that when they steal the handbag it pulls the peg out, or you could just pull the peg out yourself. And it sets off an alarm. Well, Francisco saw that, and he suggested making it into a continuity tester. And if you don't know what a continuity tester is, it's very simple. It's just something where you can take a bunch of wire like this, or you're working in a house and you want to try and check your wiring to make sure that you've got it all up together before you connect the mains power to it. Then you have a pair of wires that you attach to it. Not explaining it very well, am I? Let's make it and then you can see what I'm talking about. It's not like using a meter, it's not accurate, it doesn't give you a reading to tell you whether you've got continuity or not, it just simply sets the alarm off. So all we need to do is attach some wires to these terminals just here, in fact there's a bit of wire. If we have two pieces of wire, which one goes to this side and one goes to there, if there's a short circuit, it sets the alarm off. Now, that's handy. If you use this sort of thing a lot, you can also check whether you've got partial continuity. Like perhaps you've got a light bulb in circuit that's putting some resistance in. If I just connect this one across the same place, get a totally different sound because of the resistance of the light bulb. So you could, with some experience, tell what sort of a circuit you've got. If you get a good clear alarm, then you know you've got a good short circuit. If you get a different sound, then you know there's some resistance in the circuit. So I'll solder a couple of bits of wire on here. I've got some crocodile clips, so I'll put them on the other end. And then we'll see if we can find a good piece of wire in this old set of lights. melted a little hole through the side there for the wires to come out. So we've still got a torch. And we've got our two connectors. So we got a length of wire here and we want to see if we've got any wire that goes all the way through in one go.
start with one. So none of them worked. So you bend that one back. Next one. Now that sounds good. But it's not a completely full sound, so there's obviously some light bulbs in the way there. So that's a potential one. So we can identify that one. That one, you can tell, is absolutely clear sound. So that one must be straight through all the way. So if I pull it... go. So that was one complete piece of wire in the middle of that bunch of bits and pieces. So that's a quick demonstration of a continuity tester. It's a good idea to leave it stored like that so you don't accidentally let them touch together in your tool bag.